there are three stocks that we're going to get to in just a moment. And I wonder whether, as you look at these purveyors of beverages and foods and things like that, the key at this time is whether they have pricing power. Can they pass along cost increases to their purchasers? Yeah, I mean, so far what we've seen is absolutely they've had a lot of pricing power. And Tyler, we really think about it and go back in history. Take carbonated soft drinks, soda, for example. There was always a lot of doubt that that industry could take any pricing. And what we, I think, have learned over the last several years is that these categories aren't very price sensitive. The issue is cross elasticity. So it's when the competitors don't take pricing and you take pricing, it causes a lot of mayhem. And so far, we've seen the industry act very rational, and everyone has been taking pricing at the same time. I mean, even with all the increases today, you can get a can of Coke for you know 40 to 50 cents a can, you know, which is pretty good value when you think about other beverage alternatives in the marketplace, like a Starbucks coffee or Dunkin' Donuts coffee, as an example. Yeah, you do. You have a lot of beverage companies on here, but also in your in your the stocks here is Clorox company. Uh, let's suggest that people not drink the Clorox. That that has been suggested before, as you know. Uh, anyhow, one of the ones you like, and it is hard in sort of any environment to go wrong with alcohol, Constellation Brands. Why? Yeah, so, you know, look, w there's a lot of debate, obviously, of, you know, what's going to go on with the economy, how deep a recession will be if one does happen. Um, and the beauty about Constellation is that they're just gaining distribution because they have so much marketplace momentum right now. Mm -hmm. So when you think about their opportunities in stores like grocery stores, Walmart, et cetera, they're gaining distribution, but they're also gaining distribution in bars and restaurants where they have very, where they're less exposed right now mm -hmm. relative to their industry. So um, regardless of what happens to the category, this company is still going to be able to grow and outgrow and gain share because of this distribution muscle. If you're concerned that the rising prices are going to pinch what people are willing to spend on dining out, if you're worried about restaurants, are there other companies other than Constellation you think are well positioned to weather that? Yeah, absolutely. So you think of the beauty about beverages, right, is that you, you will consume them regardless of where you are, right? It's just see what happened during COVID. People didn't go out, but they were drinking plenty at home. Maybe, so, more, um, maybe more than usual. <laughs> that's certainly my, in my household, <laughs> no question. Um, so again, when you, when you really think about it, which are the companies that have this distribution opportunity that can help deliver outsized growth in an environment where people are still consuming beverages. So we think about Duckhorn um, uh, portfolio companies, right? Uh, ticker Napa, N-A-P-A, they sell Duckhorn decoy wine. They're only distributed in 20% of the retail locations that they should be distributed in. So they still have a lot of opportunity for uh, distribution outside of bars and restaurants. So that's another opportunity. And if you're really worried about people going out and about, here at Dr. Pepper, right, you, you basically can make and brew your coffee at home. Um, so that obviously is a, is, a, is a value move for a lot of consumers that they may not want to spend four or five dollars a cup for a cup of coffee outside the home. And, and the last one you mentioned here, it goes by the ticker symbol Napa. I'm not familiar with it. Duckhorn Portfolio. Uh, what do they provide or do? I'm, I'm so sorry not to know. Yeah, yeah. No, no worries, Tyler. Uh, they sell the Duckhorn and Decoy. Oh, labels, the, the wine labels. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Did you know that? Right. 